Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the program for uh, finding factorial of a number in assembly language using EMU8086 and your lab kit. So if you want to find the factorial, first we have to understand the logic, how to find out the factorial. So for that, uh, this is the uh, formula for your factorial. So if it is going to be your 4 factorial, so it should be like 4 cross 3 cross 2 cross 1. So here it is going to be 4 cross 2, it is going to be 12. So 12 multiplied by 2, it is going to be 24. So your output should be 24. But all these things we are going to deal it with hexadecimal, right? So in this one, the 24 has to be represented hexadecimal. So if you are using your hexadecimal calculator, 24 equivalent in terms of hexadecimal will be 18. So if you are going to give your value of 4, your output should be 18. That is what we want. So for this to happen, so this is your formula. So if you want to have your uh, conversion, so first I have to get a value. So 4 has to be get it from some place. So I can able to store it in any memory location after that I can able to uh, bring it inside my register and first I can able to have in terms of 4 after that multiplied by 3 minus uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 and after that I can able to multiply with uh, 3 minus 1 uh, which is going to be 4 minus 2 again it is going to be 2 I can able to do in that fashion also else I can able to do it in one more fashion I can able to make a register assume that it is going to be AX or something so I can able to make it as 0 1. So after that one, I can able to increment my AX register or I can able to push the values in BX. So, so BX is equal to AX like that I can able to put and I can able to increment my BX register. So after that one, multiply my BX. So what I am going to do, so AX will be 0 1. After that I am incrementing my uh, pushing it in bx and after that incrementing my bx so this is my ax and this is my bx so which is going to be 0 to now so 0 1 multiplied by 0 2 which means this one and i am multiplying with this one and after that one this one i can able to multiply with this one so like this i can able to do in the reverse fashion also whichever is convenient in terms of your logic you can able to do it so while in terms of programming multiple logics are available Whichever this logic is suitable for you and it is easy for your implementation, you can able to take that one and I can able to use it one. So in this program, what I have done, so I have tried to multiply it with this one. So your uh, AX will be having the value of uh, multiplication of AX and BX. So after that one, uh, so I'm getting this value, right? So this I can able to push it into my, inside my count register. So I can able to decrement my count register. So whenever it is going to identify if carry is going to be present or not. So if I can able to do it in this fashion also, decrement your CX and I can able to uh, check for jump no zero or uh, jump no zero, I can able to check this one. One more logic is like I can able to compare my uh, uh, BX and uh, CX. And after that one, while comparing, whether if this is going to be nearly equal, and I can able to make it in terms of your jump carry. So both the logics are possible. So just try for both the cases. So whichever is going to be suitable for you, you can able to take it. In this program, I will take this logic and I can able to solve this one. In next uh, video, which I am going to put for permutation and combination, I will try to do with this logic so that both the logics will be uh, made available for you and you can able to try with any logic you want. So what I am trying to do, so I am trying to multiply with uh, AX and BX and after that one I am comparing BX, so the CX has to be decremented, right? So after decrementing it, so I can able to check for my carry, compare it and I can able to check for my carry. So whenever it is trying to identify my uh, AX and BX, it is going to give its output. So in terms of logic, what are the steps you are going to take? So if it is going to be 4, your count register, so I can able to give it as count is going to be 0, 04 and after that you will be having ax is equal to 0, 0, 0, 001 so it has to be taken and after that bx should be equal to ax after that one incrementing your bx and after that one multiplying your uh, bx with ax so after 
that one uh, i can able to compare so decrement my cx and that compare bx and cx so whenever there is a carry so whenever it identifies a carry so it means the loop has to be repeated again and again so it has to jump to this location right so it is going to be incrementing my bx so after that one uh, after incrementing it should be multiplying ax and bx and this loop has to be executed again and again so whenever uh, this carry exists which means like whenever the carry exists it has to jump uh, to this location so i can able to give it as loop i can able to give it as loop here for your understanding so this loop will be jumping again and again so that if you are going to give the value of four so one it will start and after that one multiplied by two it is going to execute it and save it inside my ax and after that it is going to get the value of two right ax is going to hold the value of two so two multiplied by incrementing my bx is going to get my value of three and again it is going to put inside my ax and after that you are going to get the value of uh, six and after that you can able to multiply it four six into uh, four you will be getting uh, 24 right so it is going to be saved inside my ax so here your ax value will be 2 here your ax value will be 6 and here your ax value will be 24 so whenever it is identifying cx value is going to be 0 4 the count is getting completed so that this loop is completed so that it is going to jump to the next memory location so your ax is going to hold the value so i can able to write a command of move destination index with ax i can able to solve with this one and i can able to give my halt command here this is the sequence which I want to make in terms of logic for this execution of factorial uh, program. So one more logic, same thing you can able to do it. So uh, till you are decrementing your CX, it is going to be same. So I can able to just check jump no zero, right? So this also is possible. So this is one more logic. So that is one more logic. Instead of comparing and jump carry, I can able to check with jump no zero also. So both the things are uh, equal, both the things are going to be same. So after this one, uh, I have to verify this logic, whether it is going to work with my uh, EMU8086. So I can able to uh, move into EMU8086. Yeah. So the program is ready. So the same logic, whichever I have given. So I can able to take any program, sorry, any uh, element in terms of actual. So four. It is going to be giving the value of 24. 24 should be getting the value of 18 in terms of an hexadecimal. That is what our output requirement. So the same program logic, whichever we have seen here, is going to be taken here. All those things are going to be same. So moving the value of SI to 1000 and DA to 1010. After that, move SI in CL, which is going to be uh, including your uh, count register. CL should be 0, 0 because it should not be having any garbage values. So after that one, increase, uh, fix your AX going to be 0, 0, 0, 0001. That's what we have seen, right? So after that, move AX comma BX, increment BL, multiply BL, compare BL comma CL, and jump. If carry exists, jump to this location. If carry does not exist, jump out of the loop. Same logic which we have tried, I have given in terms of program. So I can able to emulate it and I can able to check. So the starting address is going to be 1000, right? So I have to get in terms of your memory and after that I have to check for my flags. So while checking for my flag, memory should be 1000. So in this 1000, I have to give the value of 04 as my input. Right? So I have given 04 as my input and my final output of 18 should be available in terms of my 1010 location. So I can able to execute it one by one so that you can able to check whether this logic works. So A, uh, SI to be 1000, that one DA to be 1010 executed, After that one CX is going to get the value of 04. So it is whatever value which you are going to give, a, give. So that should be declared as an count register. So that much time the loop has to be repeating again and again. So your AX value should be getting the value of 0001. So AX register CH is going to be 00, removing garbage values. After that AX is going to be 0001 that move bx comma ax so it is going to be again here it is going to be happening so here there is no statement which is going to come in terms of jump so it is going to be just incrementing your bl so it is going to be 0 2 so now i can able to multiply these two things 0 1 and 0 2 multiply my bl 
So BL value is going to be get, getting multiplied with your uh, AL and it is going to be saved inside your AX register. So I can able to run it. So multiplication happens. So compare your uh, BL and CL. So BL is 0 to and CL is going to be 0 4 till it is not uh, compared with each other. So your carry will be existing. So you can able to check after this execution, your carry flag is set, which means it is going to uh, make its operation again and again. So I can able to uh, run it again and it is the loop is going to uh, make its operation. So increment in your BL, so it is going to be 0, 3. After that compare uh, multiply BL, so 0, 6 is going to be in AX. Compare BL and CL, so see here, your carry flag is again set. So the loop has to execute again. So after that one I can able to see 0, 4 is going to be multiplied with things. So it is going to be directly getting the value of 18, which is your final result. So after 18, which means your CX flag is going to be 0, 4. So you can able to see compare operation of BL and CL, both the things are going to be equal. So at that time your carry flag should not be set. So that is what our condition. So carry flag is not set. So after that one, I can able to move to the next jump statement. So it is not going to uh, jump again. So it is going to the next instruction of move DI comma AX. And after that one, I can able to save that in the specific memory. So now I can able to see that value of 18 have reached the memory location wherever I move it. So like this, I can able to find the factorial of an element and I can able to put it in the memory values. Here, uh, while you are converting into lab program or lab kit program, so jump exists. So jump exists, which means I have to give the memory location or memory address. So I can able to move to the program part of your lab kit. So this is the logic. So this is what the program is. So I have given with the value of 1000, uh, 1010, move uh, CL comma SI, count register declaration after the 0001. So incrementing your BL. So all the things are going to be same, but only at this point, I have to give the values which has to be given in terms of your memory location. So only this change we are going to make here, all the things are going to be same. So in this, uh, I have to give my input in location of 1000. Uh, zero, zero. I can able to see my output at 1010, zero, zero, which is going to be 18. So uh, if you want to see those results, in terms of your uh, decimal values. In previous video, we have uh, done a program for converting our uh, um, hexadecimal to decimal, right? So it is going to be uh, your uh, dividing operation hex value divided by OA, you will be getting your quotient and you will be getting your reminder, quotient, shift digits. So after shifting digits, you are going to add both the things, which is going to give you your decimal values, right? So I can able to perform this operation on the obtained result so that I can able to get the value of 24. Actually, uh, in terms of decimal, it should be 24, but you will be getting hexadecimal output only. So it will be 18. If you want to make those things in terms of hexadecimal uh, to decimal values, so I have to make this logic again in the forthcoming uh, to convert those things into uh, decimal values also. So like this, I can able to do my uh, factorial operation and I can able to directly move inside my uh, lab kit programming. So I have already given the program as like previous experiments. So I have to start seeing the outputs. So I can able to press with U and I can able to move to the starting address of my program, which is going to be 3000. That one is going to be SI comma thousand. So start address where I'm going to save it, and after that where I'm going to see my output. So declaring my count register. This is the value which I have given. So AX is going to be zero 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 one. After that one uh, move BX comma AX and pushing the value into BX. And after that I have to increment my BL. So instead of X I have taken L. So uh, three zero one zero. So uh, that is the memory location which I want to take. So jump borrow, jump carry is going to be same. It's going to be 3010 here. Pushing that value of AX into my DA register. So after that, press So I can able to reset it now. 
and after that i can able to uh, substitute byte and i can able to enter my values in the specific memory location which may be 1000 so 1000 is already having the value 04 i can able to give the value again if you want so i can able to enter that value 05 i can able to check so reset it For that one, I can able to see complete my execution. After that, I can able to move to the memory location and I can able to see my output. So it is going to be 78. So in order to uh, get it clarified, so 78, uh, if I want to make it in terms of my hexadecimal uh, equivalent, so I can able to Go to hex calculator. In the hex calculator, so actually it is an hexadecimal value, right? Hexadecimal to decimal. So it is going to be 78. I can able to calculate it. So it is going to be 120. So final result is going to be 120. So I can able to check uh, this 120 is the result which I want. So I can able to uh, make this logic. So it is going to be 5 factorial, right? So it is going to be 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So it is going to be 20. After that one, uh, 20 multiplied by 3 is going to be uh, 60. 60 multiplied by 2 is going to be 120, right? So your output, expected output is going to be 120. So whenever I'm going to check in terms of hexadecimal, it is going to be 78. So that is what we have got it in your output so like this i can able to find the factorial of any number in terms of your uh, hexadecimal equivalent if you want to convert it into decimal you have to do the logic of hexadecimal to decimal conversion in the same program and you have to do it thank you for your patient listening